Pastor Jim had a lot of takeaways from the story of Herodias found in Mark's biography of Jesus' life in the Bible. Herodias, as we've seen, she was terrible. She was an adulterer. She committed incest with two of her uncles. She gave her daughter over to strip before her uncles and his friends. I mean, this was just not a good woman. And a man named John called her out on her behavior. So she had two choices before her, to repent or resent. She chose resentment. John called her out on her sin and she chose to be infuriated by him to the point of murder. She wound up having John executed for nothing more than confronting her about the poor choices that she had made in her life. She could have repented. She could have owned up to her sin. She could have admitted everything she had done wrong and chosen to live differently. We have that same choice when we sin. We can resent whoever calls us out. I mean, it's embarrassing to be called out, right? We can even resent the Holy Spirit. We may be really good at hiding our sins so there's no one to even call us out on it. But we can still find resentment. We can resent the Holy Spirit for convicting us of our sins, for that voice that tells us when we know we're doing wrong. But we can also repent. We can choose to turn from our sin and live differently. I'd encourage you to spend some time today to do a personal inventory. Look at where maybe you've had someone be honest about the way you've been living and you've been avoiding it. Or maybe just be honest with yourself about areas of sin in your life. Let's make the choice to repent rather than resent. And that repentance needs to be directed at God. Ask Him to forgive you. He's ready and He's willing to do just that.